Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. I'm going to show you how I took the gourds that I grew last summer and I'm going to make planters out of them. Let's get started. And here are a few gourd bowls that I did last year. I will do a tutorial later on those. I'm briefly going to show you how to wash gourds. If you want to wash your outside gourds, I do not. I just seal them with shoe polish and I will show you that. But I want to give you the option. I'm going to do a voiceover because I won't be able to talk with my respirator on and I'm going to use my glove. Gourds have a horrible mold on them. You do not want them in your lungs, in your nose, in your mouth, even on your hands. I'm going to wear my proper PPEs, fill the bathtub up halfway with water, and I'm going to add a few tablespoons of bleach. It is best if you have a lot of them that you want the mold cleaned off if you're going to be doing for the indoor bowl like I just showed you. If you have a 55 gallon drum, a tote, you would put them in there and shut the lid and let them sit down submerged. I'm going to let these soak 15 to 30 minutes. I'm going to come back, use my Dollar Tree scrubber, scrub them, let them dry. Then I'm going to spray them with alcohol to deter any more mold from them. Let them dry naturally. And then I'm going to seal them with Dollar Tree shoe polish. You don't have to. You can even spray a clear coat of polyurethane. You can rub the stain urethane on them, anything that you want. But I like using shoe polish. This is my 91% rubbing alcohol. You don't have to use 91%. I'm gonna let this drip dry and then I will be back to show you what we're going to do with these. Looks like a penguin. Isn't that cute? Rubber plug, put it in the bottom. Put it in there. Shove these in there so it would hold it up straight. And then I will cut that here to make a little planter. Save these. If you know anybody that does crafts, you get enough of them. You can sell them on eBay. They go for a lot of money in the fall for primitive dolls. Have my respirator on. I have my gloves on. I'm going to cut it with this hacksaw. All these broken pieces and the pulp are gonna go into my compost bin. I'm gonna be planting these down by the pond, so I don't care if they're a gourd, if they're a big one. I'm gonna put my respirator back on and I'm gonna go ahead and clean these. I just use this, it's heavy. Let me go ahead and clean it and I will be right back. You could cut this off right there if you want. Seal it really well and you can use it in your garden fertilizer down in it or whatever. Since this is going to be a planter, I need to put drainage holes in it. Slow and steady wins the race. And that's ready for planting. You can either use a macrame hanger, very easy to make one. You can drill holes in the side that I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to thread jute in it, put a plant in it. This is how I find the circumference take a piece of jute, string, whatever, walk it around the perimeter. Right there, I'm going to cut that. And I'm gonna divide it into thirds, make dots, put it back and make markings. So there's my three holes. I'm gonna drill holes in them and thread my jute through them. Now before I plant in it, after I did all my drilling, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with shoe polish. You can also take any kind of grit. This is 100 grit. You can use any stain you'd like. You can mix the two colors. I use one side for the light, one side for the dark. I usually do the lighter color first and then I go back with the dark. I'm actually making it look more like mold. I prefer that look. Then you seal your top. I have a full tutorial blog. I will leave the link in the description below how to grow them, how to dry them, how to plant them. Check it out. I'm going to go ahead and add a little piece of landscape fabric to the bottom. Fill it up with dirt, put a plant in it. I'm going to go put the jute in it, the plant in it, and come back and show you how it was done under five minutes. And we are back. I decided to use a heavier hemp versus a jute for this planter. I fed the three cords as long as I thought I would want it. Knotted it on the outside. I do not have nice handwriting, but at least it's on there. If you write what is in there with a permanent magic marker, it will definitely stay on the outside. Let's go over and hang it in the garden. And that one is done. There's little drainage holes in the bottom. 
It's actually very light. It is not heavy. That is so cute. All right, let's move on to the next one. I decided not to make a birdhouse out of this. I did the same thing. I drilled holes in the bottom. I am only going to add one hanger through the top and I'm gonna add this through the bottom. Cover the drainage holes. If you do not have landscape fabric like I do, you can take the gourd pulp and put it right back in over the holes. I'm gonna go add some potting soil and be right back. I only put two plugs of the rock roses in the hole. You do not want to overfill this because it will cascade down. What I did before I started planting, I laid it on its side and filled it up to here with dirt. So after I put the plant in it and I stood it up, the dirt naturally fell down on the top. Now I'm just gonna add some mulch in there. You don't want to skimp on your potting soil. Buy a really good potting soil for these kind of containers. You may have to use a dowel or anything to shove more dirt up in the hole. Pack it down tight. You may even have to go back in a day or two after you water it and add more potting soil mixture. Just manipulate it. I really twist it when I put it in. It helps it go in easier. You may notice some potting soil coming out, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some mulch on top to hold the dirt down. Give it a good drink and hang this one up. You can write something on here. Hello, birdie, welcome, whatever you want. How I would water this, you get yourself a little watering can. I have orchids in the house, so I'm used to this. I hold it back, give it a drink, let it absorb. Once it absorbs after 15, 20 seconds, can lay it down and it won't spill out and that is watered and that's a good sign that means i gave it enough water when it starts coming out like that that's perfect you can bring this in in the winter and put it in a sunny window you will just have to make sure you put some kind of container under it to catch the water when it drips out and these do very well i've done this for years and years i put them right near my garden where i'm going to walk by if I put it out in the yard, I, I will never remember to water it. If you have made it this far, I personally want to thank you. Please hit the subscribe over to the right. Hit the all bell notification. I would really appreciate if you could leave a comment and share on social media. And don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you so much.